good day, Chief. Ah, Pedro. How are you? I'm fine, Chief. Please sit down. Ah. You're looking so excited. <laughs> what is it all about? Ah. Chief, I know this will come as a surprise to you and also to the company at large. Really? Yes. Okay. Spill it out. Okay, Chief. Um, myself and my family won the US visa lottery. Oh, wow. That is certainly an exciting good news. Thank you, sir. I'm happy for you. Thank you, sir. And uh, I've come to inform you that I'll be leaving the shores of this country with my family to the United States very soon. That is great. So, how are Ella and uh, the kids taking it? Ella and the kids are very, very happy about it. You know, Ella has been so supportive from the first day I started this journey. You know, it's been her dream to live in abroad. And I guess it is her dream come true. Well, that's great. I can identify with her. Actually, I lived abroad for over 20 years. You know, it was exciting. I got all the requisite training and experience from there. But you see, there is nowhere like home. Yes. But even at that, um, it took my father passing on for me to come back to this country. Because I really had no option. I had to come back to run the business, you know. My father, Chief Raymond, was a business magnate. You know, when you talk of business, you talk of Chief Raymond. He was a renowned uh, magistrate. He was also into timber, fiber, rubber, and oil and gas. So when he passed on, I had no option but to come back and uh, take over the running of the businesses. So, like I said before, I am happy for you and your family. I am not the type that stands in the way of success. You know, I mean someone else's success. But in this case, there's a problem. Hello? Ah, uh, please, one minute. Uh, Pedro? Yes, Chief. We will have to continue the discussion some other time. I'll send for you. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you, Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. Wellwood? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, yes, it was a fruitful discussion. All right, bye. Oof. That was a long one. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, Pedro. You can come over now. Ah. Sit down, please. Thank you, Chief. Well, um, sorry for that interruption. It was um, an important discussion with uh, Mr. Welford. It's okay, Chief. Okay. So, um, I told you there was a problem before you left. Yes. You know. In as much as I am happy for you, you know, with uh, the new fit, uh, I'm equally a little bit um, not comfortable because uh, a vacuum would have been created. Well, uh, there's no gain saying that uh, you were a diligent worker, you were efficient and effective, you've contributed a lot to the development of this company and its growth, both in terms of growth and their profitability. And uh, your absence we create a very big vacuum. And that is the real problem. So I, we need somebody who is trusted, somebody as intelligent as you, somebody that is um, reliable, a good administrator to take over from you. 
And um, I don't know, do we have to place an advert in the newspapers? Oh, no, no, no. There won't be need for that, uh, placing an advert on this paper. I already have someone in mind. Really? Yes. So who could that be if I may ask? He is one of us, Chief. I have watched him closely. And I have no doubt that he's trusted and reliable. He has worked for this company effortlessly, as if the company is his. And one thing that I cherish about this young man is his patience. So, who could that be? Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy? The company messenger? Yes, Chief. The company messenger. But he deserves more. Chief, I have taken my time to study that young man. I personally went through his credentials and I found out that he has first class in business administration. Chief, it will be so unfair for us to place an advert when we have someone as competent as Mr. Jimmy in this establishment. I think we should just allow this young man to run the affairs of this company. I have studied him so, so well. Chief, that young man is a goal getter. And I think we should allow him to pilot the affairs of this company to a greater landing. I think you're right. As a matter of fact, my wife had uh, earlier told me that uh, Jimmy deserves something bigger and better. And now you are just uh, corroborating that fact. You see? So, Jimmy is it? Yes, he is the man. He is the man. It's all right. Um, well, congratulations once more on your winning the visa lottery. But one more thing, before you leave, ensure that you do a proper handover to Jimmy, okay? Ah, oh, thank you. I will do just that. And once more, I want to thank you for at least listening to me. It's all right. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> I'll take my leave now. All right. Thank you. I have been faithful. I have been living Mr. Jimmy, congratulations. I said, congratulations, Mr. Jimmy. Sir, I don't understand. Why are you congratulating me? Don't worry. You need to go now. I'll call you much later. But, sir, I... I... There's no buts. You may leave. I will call you. God of the poor. Where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? God of the universe Where have you been for long? I heard the manager saying congratulations to you. What did you win? Because your nose is too big. That's why you poke nose every time. One day your nose will gum at this door and you want to remove it in here. <coughs> then you'll be fired. Mr. Jimmy, why are you saying all this to me? I, I, it's just the way he called you out. Is it your business? Eh? Is it your business? Okay, sorry. But hope is good news. Pugnosa is dropping. He is dropping. That's why I say he is dropping. Until he adapt one day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I summoned this meeting to break uh, the news of the current happening. Um, in the company. It's something that uh, 
I am taken with mixed feelings. Mixed feelings in the sense that uh, it's good news and also um, bad news, so to say, for the company. I want to let you know that um, Pedro here, our general manager, is leaving us. He's um, leaving us not because he actually wanted to leave, but uh, due to circumstance beyond his uh, rejection, if I put it that way. It's something he cannot afford to reject. Uh, it pleases me to announce to you that uh, Pedro has won uh, the U.S. visa lottery. Wow. Uh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as a result, he's uh, already planning to travel to the United States with his uh, family to settle down and possibly work there according to the dictates of the program. So you see, that is why I said I, I was happy even though um, I feel a little bit bad. Um, I feel bad because Pedro is a diligent worker, he's a hard worker, he has contributed immensely to the growth and the profitability of this company in no small way, uh, which means his uh, absence will create a vacuum that is almost practically impossible to fill perfectly. Right. So that was why I said I felt a little bit bad. However, I cannot be a clock in the wheel of progress. So I have no option but to let him go. Um, well, I also want to use this medium to tell you that we'll be organizing a sent forth party for him on Saturday at uh, Recozy Hotels Limited. So I'm sure we'll all be there to <laughs> grace the occasion. Thank you. Congratulations once more. Thank you. Thank Mr. You. P. Thank you. Well, I. Permit me to use the same uh, stone to kill two birds, you know. So I want to use this meeting also to announce to you that um, we have to fill his position, you know. And fortunately for us, we have found somebody in this company that can fill that position reasonably well. I'm sure you are all wondering who that person is. Jamie? Sir? Could you please stand up? Sir, you mean me? <laughs> you all know Jimmy very well. He's the company messenger. You know how he works. He's a very funny person. He makes everybody happy. But aside that, it might interest you to know that he is a first class graduate of business administration. And uh, while working as uh, the company messenger, Pedro and I have uh, tested him in various uh, capacities and uh, he delivered very well. So, consequently, I am pleased to announce to you that uh, Jimmy is our new general manager. Oh my God! Oh my God! Mr. Jimmy! Oh, congratulations, sir! Come on! You mean me? Jimmy. Of course, you, Jimmy. Oh, oh my God. So, the... Uh, uh, Chief? Yes? Are you sure about this? Of course. <laughs> Do you have any problem with that? 
Why Jimmy? Why not him? I mean, I see this with a bit of skepticism. This is a very big company with its branches all over the globe and still expanding its tentacles. So, I think we shouldn't be sentimental when it comes to decision taking. Excuse me? Stephanie, are you by any means challenging my decision? Anyway, um, you all know that our company has uh, various branches all over the world. And so, Jimmy, you are going to be working all over the world. You'll be globe throttling, so to say. So, documentations will be made for you to be able to do that. And then, uh, Pedro will take you around to introduce you and get you familiarized with uh, our activities in the various branches, okay? Um, at the end of this meeting, I need you to come to my office to collect your employment letter, and that letter will contain your remuneration as the uh, general manager of this company. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank you so much. Hell, Father. It can only be you. Hell. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have made my sisters wait. Please can we turn right now? Where is your message? Oh, I'm pleading your message. Can't take it. What is the absence of any question? I declare this meeting closed. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're here. Are you back? No, I'm not here. I'm still at the office. <laughs> I was not well, work was fine, and um, we had a board meeting today. Okay. I guess it was about handing over to Jimmy as new GM, right? That's correct. Hmm. Come on, tell me about it. Yeah, it was a good one. We actually enjoyed ourselves. I, I thought you were going to ask me about the Qigong. I yeah. will, you know I will definitely ask. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to finish about Jimmy, then you tell me what you're doing with the chewing gum. We ate so much, so I had to take this chewing gum to freshen my breath. Uh -uh. You know? My husband doesn't have a bad breath. I know. So, uh, Daddy, welcome. Abigail, why are you kneeling down? Dad, I want to tell you thank you for everything you have done for I, my brother, and my mother. Thank you so much, Daddy. May God bless you. May God answer all your heart's desires. Anything you want in this life, may God give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. It's all right. No, that's Happy it. Girl, it's all right. Hey, you said all the prayers of this world on my little head. Huh? That is my love. It's not all right. Thank you so much for seeing my only brother worthy enough to manage Douglas and Douglas Association. May God bless you. Everything you have done for me, somebody will do it for you and mommy. Mommy, <laughs> thank you. Mommy, may God bless you. Read that for me. Yeah. Thank you, it's mommy. It's enough. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Abigail. Mommy, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, Go back to what you. we are doing. Inside. God bless you both in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, mommy. Abigail. <laughs> Abigail the drama queen. <laughs> she's full of drama. Drama queen. You know she's full of drama. Always drama. Are you okay? 
Choma. Okay, you can go. Okay, huh? no. You can go. <laughs> my sister, Rosemary, you can't believe what happened in our office today. Eh? You can't believe what transpired in our office today. I've just been laughing. I've just been shouting. I've just been screaming. Hey! This one choke. <laughs> um, Rosalind, <laughs> eh? you've been moving round, but you've not said anything. What happened? My sister, you see this life, eh? Don't look down on anybody. Because you don't know tomorrow. You know our former uh, um, company messenger, Mr. Jimmy, the one I've been telling you yeah, about. Jimmy. Do you know that Jimmy has been promoted to our general manager? General manager of Douglas's and Douglas's Association Nigerian Limited. All over the world. Oh. Hey, it's oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm so excited. <laughs> ha! You've not seen it. Go and bring your phone. Check the internet. Jimmy is all over the internet. Jimmy this, Jimmy that, this one. Hey! Uh, um, um, Rosalind, eh? I hope this is not one of your jokes. Wait, 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 wait. How can you think I'll be joking with a thing like this? I'm not joking, no. You know, Mr. Pedro, our former um, general manager, he got visa to travel with his family to the US. Ah! So they are relocating. Oh. So now, Jimmy has replaced him. Hey! hey! I am so happy for him. My sister, I am very, very happy for you. Oh my. Hey. <laughs> Do you um, know that the God that remembered Jabez, despite the circumstances, has oh. remembered Jimmy? You can say that hey. again. And do you know that this is a guy that I have been reassuring, reassuring, begging him, calm down, believe in God. There is oh. nothing God cannot do. When you trust God, God will always make a way. All of a sudden, God just remembered him. My sister, what God cannot do does not exist at all. You can say that hey. again. You can say that again. Do you know this guy in question almost passed out? Oh. When his father died. He could not pay a penny for his father's hospital bill. That was why his father passed out. Oh. And now, God just remembered him and changed his story. This is a case from grass to grace. You see the level? Oh my God. A choke. I am so happy for him. My sister, I am very, very happy for him. I just pray. <laughs> He remembers me in his paradise room. <laughs> now that he's now Owa. Oga, Ata, Ata. I have been faithful. I have been living my life. Debbie, you brought me out here. You've been staring at me. What's going on? Rosalind. Hmm? Rosalind. Yes. Rosalind. What was your problem? Why are you just calling my name? How many times did I call you? Three. Three times, right? Yes. Rosalind, this is the right time you should get Jimmy. What are you talking about? What do you mean what, I'm, what am I talking about? Uh, Rosalind, you have been there for Jimmy. He has been... He has been putting... In fact, he has been resting his head on your shoulder when he needs help. Everything about you is him. Whenever he's in trouble, it's you. Whenever he needs somebody, it's you. So don't you think this is the right time to lay your shoulder on him too? Eh? Debbie, honestly, you amaze me. Yes, you do. Wait, 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 wait. In as much as I want to get married, it doesn't, you know, Allow me to be pushing myself or falling for a man or chipping myself because I want to get married. Who is talking about being cheap here? Nobody is talking about being cheap now, Rosalind. <laughs> eh, just maybe invite him to your house or go to his apartment, wash his clothes, cook for him. Just make him feel comfortable. I want him to see the woman in you. <laughs> Did you listen to yourself? No, did you listen to yourself? Somebody that I have never visited, I've never been to his house when he was a messenger. All of a sudden, because he's now the general manager, I should go and visit him. Is that what you're saying? Rosalind, Rosalind, you, you're a good woman. I don't want that guy to miss you. If you don't go to him, other girls will. 
Yes, this is the right time. Like, right now. Debbie, please. If this is the only advice you brought me out here to give me, I'm sorry. Just let me be. Eh, eh, okay. Oh. Stay here. Very soon you will, you will hear that Jimmy is married. No, stay here now. I'm not other girl. Hello, Jeremiah, my son. How are you today? Ah, I heard the good news. Yes, I did. Abigail called to tell me that you were promoted in your place of work. Ah. <laughs> my dear, it's the Lord's doing, honestly. So happy for you. And I'm happy. I know you're a late father. But and we'll be so happy wherever he is there. Hi, thank God for you. Now, do you know what? I went to see Mimi's parents on your behalf. Jeremiah, how can you be asking me who is Mimi? Miracle, of course. Yes, the very miracle, you know. Yes. She's the girl I'm making arrangement for you to marry. She's from a very good background. And she's a good wife material for you. Yes. No, don't say that. Just leave the city girls alone. Let the city girls be. Jeremiah, I said let the city girls be. Eh? Miracle is the wife I want you to bring home for me. No, don't say that, Jeremiah. No, 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 no. You will marry the wife I choose for you. Yes. What? He hung up the phone on me? What is happening? of a new general manager. Mm -hmm. It looks really good on you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. I, I take a look at you now. I beg congratulations. Thank you, my woman. Thank you so much. No, it's nothing. Come on, you deserve everything you got. You're very humble, generous, and very, very patient. So why not? <laughs> I hope you're not teasing me. Ah. No, far from it. I'm not easy yet, though. <laughs> I'm saying the truth. <laughs> anyway, I just still have to say thank you so much because your encouraging <laughs> words and prayers kept me. You know, you, 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 you gave me the reason to realize that God has not forsaken me. <laughs> You're a good woman. Thank you, sir. It's nothing. Like I always say, God will never forget his own. Once he starts with you, he will finish with you. That's how God is. So don't worry. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much, my rose. Ah. My, my rose. <laughs> sa, sa, sa. This is your 
Somebody be my rose, my love, my this one, my this one. Ah, hope I'm safe, oh. You're very, very safe, but you won't understand, you know. You deserve all I call you, even more. Because you're the reason I didn't commit suicide. Suicide? Yeah. So wait though, was there a time in your life you tried to take your own life? Several times. But you see, your encouraging words and your advice and your care kept me going. Oh and I never did. Thank God. I didn't know it got to that point. It really got to that point, but I thank God for you. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> anyway, I will be traveling tomorrow. Yeah, so I heard. So what do I get for you when coming back? Um, anything. <laughs> anything that you like is fine. Okay, no problem. I'm going to get you something very tangible. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. God bless you. Thank you. I, I have to thank you. Not you thanking me. Yeah. Love you, the best you never done. Love you, you know. Love you, it's the best you never done. Love you, center of my world. So beautiful, my beautiful, you make my life beautiful. Let me Rose. love you, love you, love you, baby. Rosalie! Ma? What is the problem? Huh? Are you okay? <laughs> yes, mommy, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, mommy, I'm very, very fine. I'm okay. You are not. Because these days, I notice most of the time you're sitting lost in thought or sometimes talking to yourself. Do you want to tell me about it? Mom, it's not like that. I'm just thinking about work. Like, my head is filled up. I have a lot on my table. That's all I'm thinking about. Apart from that, I'm okay. I don't have, to have any issue. I'm fine. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Rosalyn, I am your mother. And I know you are not fine. You don't want to tell me about it, right? Mom, I've just said I'm fine. There is no problem, honestly. I'm only thinking about work. Who is he? Who? Who, mommy? Who is that young man that is deceiving you? <sighs> mommy. <laughs> there is no young man no, that is deceiving me. Oh. I'm only thinking about work. <sighs> Are you sure it's just work? That is making you sit down and talk to yourself as if you are a mad person. Hmm? Um, it's just work. Honestly, I have a lot on my table and I have to finish it before my ending will sack me. Oh. And I hope you realize how long you have been washing these clothes. Hmm. Yes. Or do you intend to sleep outside? You intend to sleep here with the clothes? You know you're supposed to go and buy food stuff for the house. Have you forgotten? Yes, yes, that's true. So you better hurry up, oh. You better hurry up. I'm finished now. Come, Saragi. 
Sleeping. No, my girl is sleeping by now. Let me call her. I just want to love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just want to be the best I can. I don't want to live a life of crime. Hello, babe. What is my crime? Sorry, who is this? Hello, sir. Yeah, how are you? I guess you're sleeping already. I can't sleep. Why? I can't tell. How are you? And work? Work is fine, just stressful. And how are you, sir? I'm good. How is your, how is your mom? Okay, you know, I've not heard from you for some time now, so I said, let me call you to know how you're doing. Yeah, at least hearing your voice now, I'm fine. I hope you're good, huh? Okay. Well, let me allow you to go back to bed, okay? I'll call you back later. Miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. Take care of yourself, okay? I just want to be free. Let me be free from pain and sorrows. Rosie. From pain and sorrows. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm so so happy we are able to beat all those traffic jams. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, anytime I'm going to my next communication, I'm always very very scared, you know. My heart skips because all those traffic are... Oh. <sighs> Mr. Jimmy is coming back today. According to what I heard the MD telling one of our branch managers on the phone. What? I heard the MD telling one of our branch managers. Oh my god! You mean Mr. Jimmy is coming back today? Oh, that's good news! Good news! Oh, that's so sweet! You know, the company has been so boring since Mr. Jimmy traveled. I can't wait! <laughs> Mr. Jimmy deserved what he got. Exactly what I told him. I said, Mr. Jimmy, you deserve everything you got. He's a good man. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh my God. At least to prove to Miss Stephanie that he's not a failure, but just waiting for his set time to come. Ah, talking about that one, I don't know what's that problem. Like the way she treats people, the way she speaks to Mr. Jimmy, like he's a nobody. Do you even have to rub it on his face? Honestly, I don't know why she'll be doing all that. We are not blind. We all can see how she has been treating Mr. Jimmy ever since he, he became the company's messenger. Well, I just wonder that sometimes that's a crime to go. My dear, poverty is something else. 
it's something everybody should really really work work hard you know to break out you see that thing called poverty everyone needs to work so hard to break the seen and the unseen battle called poverty because it's crazy ah the society so frowns at poverty but they celebrate those that have made it that is why everyone is fighting so hard to defeat poverty you see people now going into different things different vices online fraudulence just to make it it's terrible All right, let me take my leave. Excuse me, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Well, good to be back. Really, really good to be back. My energy. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. How was your journey? So far, so good. Mm, I can see. Yeah. You look good. <laughs> so tell me, I hope you got something for us. Miss Stephanie, as you can see, I just walked into my office and I've not done anything. Okay? So if you don't mind, can you please excuse me so I can carry up my table and do some other things? It's okay. Fine. Rosalind, yeah, come to my office. Okay. I come back. Hello. Oh, my woman. Oh, sorry. Hello, Sally. Mm. Come, 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 come. Looking sweet. Thank Fresh. you. <laughs> Nice to see you. Good to have you back. Please, 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 <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh my God, Mr. Jimmy, yeah. it's so good to have you back. Yeah, nice to see you too. <laughs> my pleasure to have you back here. So, uh, how was it? It was good. It was all good. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. Hi, happy to have you back. Oh, at least now we can laugh and be happy <laughs> this always. <laughs> <laughs> see, my girl, my girl is soft. Wow. The rose, my superwoman. What's going on? I think there is something going on between these two. I'll find out. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. I know you like it. I love it already. Oh, is this so 
you and no one will like you. Hey! This is so nice. Hold on. What is going on in this office? Well, is this some kind of office romance or what? Hey, 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 Mind your word. Mind the things you say. Okay? I am the GM of this company. And I have the right to sack you from this company. And you know it. The MD must hear this. Sorry, my dear. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. Come okay. on, let me wait. No, 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 sir. Don't worry. I'll, I'll wait later. Okay, it's okay. It's all yours. So you can wait at any time you hey, want. This is so fun. Thank you, wow. sir. Thank you. So, sir, how was your trip and the meeting with the foreign company? Okay, it was good. It went well. And, uh, they will be coming to Nigeria in the next few days. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey! So this is good though. I know that you will make this company very proud. <laughs> and you will take this company to the next level. I promise to do my best. Oh. I'll make this company proud. Oh, we are proud of come, you. Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm happy to have you, man. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? Okay. It's okay. Get back to your office. I will have you for dinner. Do not give me that look. Because I won't take no for an answer. Sorry, sir. Um, Mr. Jimmy, does it mean that you want to take me out on a date? Yes, my love. <laughs> okay, you get to your office, okay? I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. It's okay. I just want to love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just want to. Please, what can I get for you? Oh, I've placed an order already. Oh, you have placed an order? Yeah. Okay, have a nice time. Okay. Thank you. Wow, this place is beautiful. <laughs> you like it, huh? Yes. I know you like it, that's why I brought you here. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, and please, drop this sa 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 thing, okay? We are not at the office, okay? When we get to the office, you can call me that. I'm sorry, I can't do that, though. You're my boss. Why will I call you by your name? If, if you really do no want to upset me, please, don't call me that. Okay, you can call me Jimmy. Sir, oh, all right, Mr. Jimmy, if you insist. I insist. <laughs> Fine. Okay, see, there are some mistakes I did in the past, which I wouldn't want to do again. Okay, how do you mean? Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie, that reminds me. I've been meaning to ask you, what you have with Miss Stephanie and why does she hate you so, so much? I, I don't have anything with her. My only crime was that I... I was poor. I don't know. That was my crime. <laughs> She's not serious. Yes. Were you the only poor guy around? And my only offense towards her was because I asked her to marry me. For real? Yeah. You asked her to marry you? Wow. I mean, but she told me that she'd rather die than to marry a low life like me. She said a lot of things, called me all sorts of names. I wish I wouldn't want to start saying here. And someday, I approached her with the same marriage issue. Stephanie, please, be the mother of my kids, please. You must 
be going crackers. Of course, I am going crackers for you. Hi, how did you know? Goodness me. Why are you even thinking that I will condescend so low? Huh? I'm thinking of how to make you my wife. you ever lay your filthy hands on me, you imbecile. Stephanie, I'm not You slapped me. And I will slap you again if you do not get out of my way. Ah. You said this? It will teach you a lesson never to come before me to spew such nonsense again. Idiot! It's not fair now that you slapped me because I was asking you to be the mother of my kids. Because I was begging you from my heart to marry me. I was just pouring out my heart. Okay. I, I, I love you with everything in me, Stephanie. Try and understand me now. Wait, you? Yeah. you? Yes. You, Jamie. You want to marry me? Yes, I believe. Really? Please. Please. You want to marry me? I, Take care of your one. Oh, no, shush, 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 shush it. Shush it, you imbecile. You, Jimmy. Jimmy, go away. You want to marry me? Yes, I want to marry you. I cannot stop. We, we can go ahead and cut off my head, slap me, kill me, hit me, anything. I will not stop loving you. I will never stop. Oh, my God. Do you, 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 you even know how much I despise you? Do you know how much I, I, I hate you? Gosh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you and every single thing you represent. Stephanie, you hate me. Is, is it that you hate my bongo trouser or you hate my sopping kushu? Because I know my personality is sharp. I said I hate you and everything you represent. I, 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 Don't you get it? Can go ahead and do whatever you want to do to me. I will never stop. I will never stop. I, I, I love you. I love is you. It? As I close these eyes, before I open them, I want you to get out of my way. No, now! No condition is permanent though. We can work it out. We, okay. we can build it together, okay? We can oh. do things together. You want to see we what I will do? No. You want to see what no, I will do? I'm, I'm just begging you. Get no, out. I'm just begging you. Get out! Stephanie. Get this proposal ready as soon as possible. It will be submitted to Sanchez Company by 2 p.m. Mm, okay, that's fine. Um, excuse me. Um, sorry, Miss Stephanie. Should I type this with the company's letterhead, or I should use an A4 paper to type it? Are you so daft? Even if I didn't say it, don't you know what you ought to do? Asking stupid questions. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Mr. Nayoki? Okay? 